feel like I Top should... 6 Magic Mask Effects and DaVinci Resolve Let's start with the first one. Duplicate your clip and open Fusion page. Select media in one node, shift space bar and apply magic mask. Mask out your object. Choose mode to better and press track. Now go back to edit page and duplicate this clip twice. Disable top two clips. Select second clip and open Retime editor. Choose the frame you want to join with your main clone and press freeze frame. Drag the upper slider to the right to extend freeze frame and align it with our main clip. Cut unnecessary part of the clip. And we already have this cool effect. Now apply the same technique to the next clip above, but choose another frame. After it's done, enable the top clip with magic mask. And that's it. Color change. Duplicate your clip, select both clips, right click and create new fusion clip. Go to fusion page, disable media in one node, select media in two node, shift space bar and apply magic mask. Select car body with a dropper and I will track frame by frame for better result. Now select magic mask and apply color corrector node. Change hue to desired color. Enable media in one node. Select color corrector node and create a polygon in front of the car. And gradually animate polygon the way it covers the entire car closer to the end of the clip. And that's it. Speed run effect. Duplicate your clip, right click and create new fusion clip. Go to fusion page, select media in two node, shift space and apply magic mask. Disable media in one node for now. Mask out your object. Choose mode to better and hit track. Cool, now select magic mask, shift space bar and look up for Gaussian blur. Create a circular mask, place it somewhere here. Click invert and increase soft edge value. Now enable media in one node and apply transform effect. Step on the first frame and set keyframe on center. Go to the last frame and set it to minus 24. Change edges to mirror. And we have this cool sliding background. Let's apply some glow to it. Drop shine threshold value to around 0.2 and same to the spread. Play around with the settings to get the result you like. Cool, now let's add a directional blur to create a sense of motion. Increase length all the way up. And last effect is lens distortion. Set distortion value to 1 and that's it. Thermal Glow Effect Duplicate your clip, right click and create new fusion clip. Go to fusion page, disable media in one node for now, select media in two node, shift space and apply magic mask. Select your object with the dropper, choose mode to better and hit track. Awesome! Now add false color effect to the magic mask. Turn off values and scale, choose plugin mode to creative and creative style to thermal. Open Preprocessing tab, hover your playhead to the first frame and change white level till it gets purple. Add keyframes to both, now step on the 16th frame and change those values a little so they look not the same as previous one. And animate it till the end of the clip. Cool, now let's add a glow effect. Change size to 42. Enable media in one node, and that's it. Motion trail. Duplicate your clip twice, so you have three clips. Right click and create new fusion clip. Go to fusion page. 
Disable media in one and media in three nodes. Select media in two node and add magic mask. Mask out your object, choose mode to better and hit track. You can enable media in one node. Now select magic mask node and apply directional blur. Change type to radial. Now hold option key and drag white square of directional blur to the white square of magic mask. New merge node appeared. Now drag this blur slider to the right. Drop the length value to minus 0.1. And we already have this cool looking effect. To emphasize it, duplicate directional blur node twice. It's looking good already, but I want to add another magic mask to media and three nodes so trails effect looks more behind the subject. You can also add blur value in mat tab and lower the erode value. So here you can see the difference with and without second magic mask. Let's see the result. Comic book effect. Duplicate your clip, select bottom clip and set saturation to zero in the color page. You can also add some contrast to the image. Go back to edit page, duplicate top clip, enable it and go to fusion page, shift space and apply magic mask. Select your object with a dropper, choose mode to better and hit track. Go back to edit page and trim top clip to the right. Open effects browser and apply comic book effect to the bottom clip. Let's animate scale and angle to create emotion. Open effects browser again and look up for smooth cut transition. Drag it into the top clip, make it shorter and change ease to in and out. Now enable second original clip without any effect. Trim it to the right so it starts later than the top one. Go to effects browser and apply glow transition to the second clip. Change curve to easing. Let's increase zoom and position of our top clip to cover the clone behind. Extend the glow transition for better results. And that's it. Don't forget to visit my store for cool effects, titles and sound effects for DaVinci Resolve and Final Cut Pro. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video.